Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a special unboxing here and a giveaway. This is the Tough Luck Shadows playing cards. This is going to be the second collaboration between Doc's playing cards and Native Tongue Studio. I'm going to open one for you guys right here on camera and then the other one I'm going to keep sealed and we're going to give away to one lucky viewer. Before we get into the unboxing, don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you guys turn on notifications so you guys don't miss out on my future videos and other giveaways. With that said, let's uh, let's crack this bad boy open. I don't see a pull tab on the deck, which I normally do on a cellophane. So we're just gonna start from a corner and just start pulling away here. Normally there's a pull tab, but I think I just, maybe I missed it. No, I, I swear I didn't see a pull tab, so. Kind of working away at the cellophane here. All right, man, that is one nice looking deck. Got the cellophane off, put that aside. This is, I have to say, one of the best looking tucks I've ever, ever seen, period. Bar none, just fantastic design. It's covered in just, you know, holographic foil all the way around. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, so I mean, you have this really nice kind of floral pattern going around the top. I don't really know how to describe it, but I'm just going to say it's a floral pattern going around the front. We have, you know, sword going through a skull and a horseshoe here at the top, hence Tough Luck. And then here on the front, it reads Tough Luck Playing Cards, LXXVI. And then down here, we have two little rabbits, I think. I think those are rabbits. Which would make sense because rabbits are you know, lucky rabbits, lucky rabbits, but right. And then down here we have made in the United States of America. Moving on to the side of the tuck, we have skull and bones here, and then we have a sword going through the skull. We use tough luck going vertically, and then the same uh, sword going through the skull and bones design uh, facing the other way. And I believe it's going to be the same on this side as well. Yep, so very similar mirrored side flaps and then on the back look at that absolutely amazing wow so we're gonna get that very similar you know sword through skull and bones alternating pattern facing alternating directions and then we also have this little i don't really know what to what to call that it's like a cross and then you got the little swirls at the end but Really nice design. Got the border, holographic foil. Everything's holographic foil. Super nice. We have a holographic seal on it as well. And the top is going to be tough luck playing cards, I think. That's what it says underneath the seal. Again, with a similar pattern um, on the side, except we don't have the skull. We just have the, uh, the kind of floral pattern here again. On the bottom here, it says in holographic foil, again, Designed by Native Tongue Studio, produced and distributed by Docs Playing Card Co. Las Vegas, Nevada, 89117. Again, guys, if you guys haven't seen anything else that, you know, Native Tongue Studio and, and Docs have made, go check it out. Check out the link down in the description, guys. You guys will not be disappointed. Um, I think some of the other decks might be sold out. You know, it's hard to get your hands on, like, the regular Tough Lux. The luckies, you know, the standards, the gilded, all those are really hard to get, but definitely check out the other decks that these guys have collaborated on because they are absolutely amazing, fantastic. Um, just some of my favorite decks, period, out there. But yeah, that is going to cover the tuck, so it's absolutely amazing. With that said, let's get this bad boy open. There you go, that is open. Pop this out, and look at that, even on the inside flat we have even more holographic foil open this up uh, ooh, look at that all right so right off the bat love the fact that it's black paper on the inside as well just because I feel like if you open this up and the inside was white paper that would just kill the continuity of the deck and so I love the fact that they're using black on the inside as well and then here on the inside flaps we have I believe this is gonna be the native tongue logo over here and then on this side, we have we have DPC, for which I believe is going to be Doc's Playing Card Co. In holographic foil. Nice. Makes sense. 
for the two logos. It's a collab. Awesome. All right, here we go, guys. Ta-da! All right, guys, this is going to be the back design. It is a borderless back design. Um, and this is going to look pretty much like the back of the box that we saw, alternating sword through, you know, skull and bones. And then we have that cross with the little floral uh, pattern. So that is going to be the back design. Looks really nice. Ooh, look at that. I didn't even mean to like fan it out like that. You can already see how nice. Oh God, that looks so nice. I tell you, I love borderless decks because you do not get something that looks this nice on a bordered deck. And this looks just absolutely fantastic and amazing. That is super slick and awesome. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so that's the back design. It looks really nice. Here we go. We got the first Joker. So we got the uh, tough luck symbols in both corners. We have a fox. Uh, he's holding a tray with some playing cards on it, I think. I think that's what it is. With the Joker. Very cool. And then we have a matching Joker. I love it. You know how I like my identical Jokers for magic, so I like the fact that they are identical. Very cool. Looking very dapper, this, this, uh, this fox here. Looks very dapper. All right. Now we have the Ace of Spades. That is a very sweet looking ace. We've got the two rabbits on each side. We've got the uh, LXXVI at the top. Ace of Spades written there. Tough luck playing cards at the bottom. And then there's that design again, that tough luck floral design as seen on the front of the tuck. Very cool looking Ace of Spades. I like it. Here are the number cards. I believe these are all, you know, these spades look very unique and custom, so like that. Very unique, big and wide. And then nice and small here in the corner in the indices. Ooh, look at that font. It's an interesting looking eight. I don't think I've ever seen a font that looks like that. Interesting. I do like the font. That's cool. Not too small, not too big. It's a good size. Ooh, okay, here we go. Court cards. Nice, uh, scary looking dead man here. He's holding up 8 8 Ace Ace. Alright, very cool. Nicely done in very dark black and gray colorways. Queen is very similar. Got a raven. Okay, like it. Liking this theme here. I like the theme, I like these a lot. Wow, look at that. It's a very cool looking sword. Alright, here we are at the Ace of Diamonds. So normally these are red, right? And then here we have the Ace of Diamonds in silver, metallic ink it looks like. And again, we have these custom fonts and pips. I do like this font. I don't know how I feel about the color though, because you have black and then you have silver, which I mean is the theme of it, but yeah. I, mean, I guess that makes sense, black and silver. Jack of diamonds, got some snakes in his hands. That's cool, very cool. The queen, got a broken mirror. Yeah, it's definitely bad luck there. King of diamonds. Nice, got the axe going on. Very cool. King of clubs. Got a net and he's trying to catch some bees, it looks like. <laughs> Here's the queen. She's uh maybe <laughs> she's throwing some salt over her shoulder for some good luck. I like these a lot. <laughs> and he's what is this? The jack is. I don't know exactly what that is that he's holding in his hands. It almost looks like a hose of some sort. It looks like little droplets coming out. Not sure what that is, but cool looking jack though. Like that. Here are the clubs, number cards. All right. Ooh, there's the king of hearts, the suicide king. <laughs> 
Got the sword going through his eye. Nice. Very nice. He's giving the thumbs up too. He's like, yeah, I'm alright. I'm good. Thumbs up. No problem. I'm good. Queen of Hearts. Got like a dead wilting flower in her hand. Jack of Hearts. Ooh, he's got it's like spilling some coffee on himself. Yeah, that's gonna sting. That'll burn some skin off. <sighs> Again, this is normally red, but it's done in this metallic silver ink. And Ace of Hearts. Okay, so no ad card, so just no ad card, no double backer, none of that. Um, just two jokers, and then, which is not bad. I mean, you have your jokers at least, so that's good. Um, again, I don't know how I feel about the color of what's, you know, it's normally red, the diamonds and the hearts, right? They're normally red, but they're to match the colorway and the theme of the deck. Everything's done in black and silver, which, I mean, it, they don't look too similar, so I don't think you ever get confused with them, but it is a little bit of a lighter color, right? Sometimes it might be hard to see depending on the light or whatever, but it's not that bad. It's not terrible. At first I was like, I don't know how I feel about this color, but it's actually not bad. It takes a little bit of getting used to, I guess, but it's not bad at all. I do like the Ace of Spades, and I really like the, uh, the court cards. Court cards are fantastic. The colors, you can't really see, I don't know if you can see that. The metallic ink, though, looks nice. When it's done, it's done in black and silver, silver's done in that metallic ink. You can see there's a little bit of shine to it. You can kind of see it there, that's nice. Yeah. And then of course, you know, everything done here in silver, they're done with uh, the same metallic ink. So you can kind of see that there. But yeah, the court cards look really nice, fantastic. I like all the throwbacks to like, um, I think they're all referencing something with, with luck, right? That's my guess, just because we have like the salt going over the shoulder, like the broken mirror. Right, which is like bad luck. Um, still don't know what that is. Um, Suicide King. Um, so I mean, I, I think it's all kind of luck related, which makes sense with the theme. I just, I don't know what some of the references, so sorry about that, but love the custom court cards. I do like the custom pips. Um, the colorway makes sense for this, you know, which stays consistent with the theme of the deck. So it all makes sense. Really, really nice deck. The feel of the deck, ooh, that feels really nice. I believe it's on the US PCC premium stock, which used to be called their B stock, if I remember correctly, off their website. And this feels like a crushed stock as well. It's nice and soft and worn in. This feels like a crushed stock, crushed premium stock would be my guess. And it feels really nice. It looks nice. I like the design. Ugh. I love the tuck. There's not a whole lot to not like about the deck, guys. You can see, you can easily see why this was sold out so, so quickly. Um, nothing but good things to say about this deck. If you guys haven't checked out, you know, what Native Tongue Studio or what Michael McClure is doing, guys, definitely check it out. Link in the bio down below. You guys will not be sorry. I guarantee it. This is super nice. You know what I would love to see though? Because I know that they they made a black gilded version and a hollow gilded version. I would love to see a version done where the back is done in hollow. Maybe the back and the fronts are done in hollow to match the tuck case. Like imagine if the deck actually looked like this on the back. But yeah, I know it's gonna be more expensive than you know your the normal going price of this deck. But if they made a luxury version of this or they made like a premium version of this where the back was actually a hollow oh my god get out of here get out of here if they, if they made that if you guys are listening by the way uh michael mcclure brad please 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 make a hollow version of this where the back of the cards every single one literally looks like this like you guys would literally be printing money because i know i would eat that up i know other people would eat that up just please consider making a like premium luxury version of this where it matches that hollow graphic back but if you guys don't this is still super sick and awesome but yeah guys that is going to be my review of the tough luck shadows playing cards limited edition super sick deck guys i don't think you guys will be disappointed for this um 
leave a comment down below guys what do you think of this design do you guys love it do you guys hate it what do you guys think leaving a comment is all it takes to be entered into the giveaway for a free deck make sure you guys like and follow turn on notifications that way you guys will be notified when i make my new videos future giveaways and that way you guys get notified who the winner is thanks for watching guys appreciate it and uh hope to see you guys on the next video peace